Hello, Johnny. Uh, I'm testing it out. See if I could put 12 in one in the asteroid, which is made for asteroid only. Now, I like the centipede better because if I move this trackball over there, I only need to draw a hole here and two extra buttons here, where I don't have to draw the the trackball here. So I bought a special adapter from Glens, and also I'm waiting for my uh, spinner from Glens. Uh, it was out of stock and so I found it is in today and I saw it and I ordered it and that should be coming in uh, in uh, I guess 26th of this month so as you can see uh, it's working with the, this one and the game is 12 in 1 and this system is not a 12 in 1 it's an asteroid see and that one is a, is a centipede Right over there so I'm, I'm just moving the trackball over just to see if it will work now I noticed that if if I move this to a centipede the screen will tilt this way it's because the screen is vertically and but the 12 and 1 is made for to go this direction so that screen will not work for the 12 and, 12 and 1 for the PCB board but uh, I couldn't I also the 12 in 1 the DAC is out and I've been waiting for almost 21 days already and I still can't get it to I cannot place the order because this thing is out of stock so the best way to do is uh, I didn't want to combine both of them physically but turn out I have to with the with the joystick because I can't buy the the control DAC uh, that that it does come with the trackball and the spinner and all the button for the 12 in 1 but they're out of stock and as you can see this the centipede the, the trackball is working as well so let's play the centipede in, in the asteroid system let's see if it works okay and let's press uh, player one how we go player, player one okay so as you can see, I'm playing uh, Sanity. So that's pretty cool because now the screen is but one thing I noticed that the sound is not that loud. Even though I got the sound turned all the way up, it's not as loud for the 12 and 1. Okay, so that worked. So let me hold the button, see if I can get out of the game. Not letting me get out of the game. There, okay, the player two will get out of the game. That's interesting. All right, so the trackball is seem to be working. So let's see if I try a game that I don't have uh, before, which is this one and this one. Asteroid Deluxe. So there's only in twelve and one that will have this game. So let me try that. With two coins, I forgot. Oh. Okay, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I suppose you use the spinner. The spinner seems to not working. I think that game you're supposed to use the left and right instead. Okay, 
So let me try again. Yeah. If you move left and right, uh, the spinner does not seem to work on this. That's weird. Uh, uh, so let's get out of the game. Let me see if I hold player one. No, player two. player two will get out. Alright, let's try uh, which one that used the spinner, the asteroid. That's interesting, that one did not work, so let's try the regular asteroid that is supposed to come with this game. Or oh, actually the templates. Okay. Player one. So two coin. All right. So trackball does not work over here. We need a spinner. Okay, so templates work. Let's try. Let's try Astroid. Cause the Astroid Deluxe did not want me to use the. The spinner seems to not work in a regular asteroid. Seems like I have to use the uh, left and right. It worked before with a uh, one player, I mean with a regular asteroid. It worked before with uh, with this one, with uh, before I change it, but it seemed to not work neither one of them on this game. So only the button work. But the only one is the is the templates that work. So let's see what else. Let's see what other game that does not work. May let's try major major one. Let's see which one would it work. So player one. So okay, the spinner. Spinner is working now. But the trackball doesn't work, okay. That seems correct. I never know how to play this game, so. The trackball doesn't work here in this game. We need a
did it. I guess different games program differently. Ah, really? Play this game very well. Okay, so let me hold this button and let's try. So, majorly, it's called a lum lumber. We haven't tried lumber yet. Let's see what does lumber. Which one did it use? Okay, so this one originally is for this uh, spinner. Let's see if it uses a spinner or the trackball on this 12 in 1. So, press one player. So it doesn't use either one, it just use button. Dead. Okay, so that one does not use any in neither one of this. Okay, good to know. Alright, so if I use a centipede, centipede work about the other two with the spinner. I see melody. Let's try that one. See what what kind. Oop. I see what kind of use. So the screen is a lot smaller. I mean the twelve and one. I mean that's what happens if you put twelve and one. So I mean I mean it's okay, but it just uh. I like the Astro by itself on the big screen. Oh, the reason the speaker is low because my stupid trackball was on top of the speaker. I was wondering why the sound was much lower. I couldn't hear anything. I thought it was the problem one, uh, the problem. This version is pretty cool. I have, a, I have played a uh, different version, but this one is actually pretty cool. So that do use the the trackball, and how about the one below it? That's also part of the centipede. Does it use trackball? Yep, still use trackball, but doesn't move that fast. The trackball is so messed up. Same kind of problem with the trackball. It's still slow. So 
So using that extra extra board, it does make both of them working. So if you want to combine the 12 and 1, you do need to buy that $11 ball to make it work. Hey, I passed it. So that work and Mr. Commando, Mr. Which other one? This one. The, oops. This one is supposed to use trackball as well. Let's see if it work on this one. Yeah, it does. And it doesn't work on. Uh, Okay, so everything worked, so let's get out of the game. That's good. So that trackball worked with this system. You just have to buy the extra board. Let me show you the... This extra board right here. You got kind of light up. I don't know if you can see it. So the main, the middle, the, the only one that's by itself, that one plug into the board. And then this two, uh, plug uh, either one, one or two, doesn't matter which one go to which. But this one you do, the only one by itself that have the light next to it, that one have to plug into the board to make it work. So let me turn this off, unplug this, and show you what I did. Okay. So let me flip this around. So this is what I did. Okay. And based on looking at this, this one had more plug, had two extra plug than that one over there, than the asteroid. So I will, in order for me not have to drill this hole, is move this over there, okay? Pretty much everything here over there. But the, since we have a speaker already and the buttons already, I only need to move two buttons. And I'm missing uh, the one over there only have A, B, C. So I'm missing uh, D and E. So I need to move D. So this is the button A, A, B, C, D, E. So I need to move two buttons to over to that side. And then take this whole joystick and put it here for this system to work. This 12 and 1 will not work on centipede because centipede is still sideways. So the screen will go uh, sideways like this. You'll, be, you'll have to look, your head has to be looked like this. So the screen, instead of like this, it will tilt this way. So you cannot play 12 and 1 on the centipede, but you could put 12 and 1 on the asteroid. Only thing you're missing is the trackball and this uh, PC, PCB board, which uh, Glenn, they, they developed because uh, their 12 and 1 come with a plug that, so it's missing this. So in order to make this to work, you have to buy this board. You could either, you could either draw a hole like here, but problem you draw a hole, Look at that side, it's harder to do. So it's easier to just leave this over here and draw two holes here. And then take that one and put it right here. And that will be good to go and move this to this side. And then it will be all set. But it will kind of be weird, but because the, the joystick is, the joystick is uh, asteroid, I mean uh, centipede, but this is asteroid, but it really doesn't really look that bad if you draw two two joystick right. I mean two button right here, and then you could push push the button all right here would be good too. So right here would be right over here, down here. That would be kind of close to the plastic. The plastic is right here, so it might be better to be right here instead. So my. My the, the the button had to be down here because the plastic is over here. So if you put it, the plastic, yeah, the plastic is right on this green line. So your joystick had to be that right here. The two joystick, two I mean the two button, not joystick, the two button. I'm gonna put two button here, 
and then the spinner will be on this side by itself so you could do the spinning so the two ball and the spinner right below the right below the speaker yeah so this line the yellow line will be your guide to where the speaker is so you don't want to draw anything higher than the yellow you're going to draw it right down here for the spinner and then the two button will be right here so so it'll be perfect you know fire button and then this one you know it might be a little bit off you might might be best to put it but I'm not sure you could put the button here because if you are going left and right some game you are going left and right so if you're going left and right you have to fire so you have to use one is right hand one is left hand so if you put it right under here it will work with the spin with the spinner but it will not work with this two button because a while ago we played the game require this two button so your left hand had to be here but your right hand had to be somewhere here so that means your spinner will be here and the two button had to be close to this side so that way you can use your right hand and left hand without interfering so oh, when you put the ball if you put the joystick here it will be your hole your plastic will will not it will be hitting the plastic unless you don't put the plastic on it yeah you might as well not put the because if you put the plastic on it that's where the plastic when you put the black plastic over to cover it this is where if you put the two button here if you put it close to this side that's why they put it based on the picture on the other one they put the button uh, one here one over here and then the spin over here Yeah, the spinner will also go out of the board. <laughs> so I need to figure out how I'm going to draw the hole without. So that way I could play with those two buttons and plus this button. All right. That's pretty much on this one. Either that or I have to draw this over here. But I don't really want to draw the hole over here. Because that means I have to put it close to the, to the speaker. Because I'm on the left-handed side. And then... If I put it on this side, I have to move the speaker to this side to make it work because, because you know, because I'm a right-handed and not left-handed, and that would be more of a headache. So yeah, I probably just use that that wood over there and move this and two joystick over there and figure out what's the best place to put this to. Because uh, based on this old. See, I bought this, but they're out of the stock, and I can't get this one. Based on this, the two button is right right next to the spinner, and this three button is is uh is over here, and the, the trackball is right in the middle. But since this trackball is not in the middle, it's more close to the speaker. You have less space for the button, so that's the problem. All right, let me figure it out, and when I finish, I'll show you guys. I appreciate you watching. Alright, talk to you later. Bye-bye.